So what we're going to do is how to demonstrate to give a proper culture, to make sure we get true, honest results when, we, when we're sampling cows. With the latest PCR uh, um, testing diagnostics, which is really, really sensitive, we want to make sure our udders are clean, dry, before we take our samples and our samples are as pure as we can so we can get the proper results. We're also going to demonstrate and have you guys do. It's a little hard when the udders upside down to do the things we need to do, but we're going to imagine a few things. And we're also going to, you know, uh, demonstrate the partial insertion. Um, I know, uh, how many people use Orbiseal there? Okay. What's the biggest pain with Orbiseal? It's when you start milking. Okay. We're going to try and help you out that way a little bit. You know, I don't know if you take the air out before you put it in. Okay. I'm going to make some suggestions that may help you in the future. But what we're going to do is prior to that attachment is we're going to, when we get to the point where, okay, say it's uh, strip, wipe, attach. We're going to strip the cow out, we're going to dip her, wipe that teeth and then that's where we go in. Okay? We're gonna go in, we're gonna take an alcohol pad. These are the little squares that come in your mastitis tube or dry treatment. If uh, you can get some four by fours, like medical size four by fours, put them in a Tupperware and put alcohol in those, you can get them, it's even better. We didn't have any, so we didn't bring any, but you can get some of those. And, uh, they, uh, you just don't want to have those soaking wet with alcohol, bring them out a little bit, but you can, uh, you have a lot more surface area to scrub the teat in with those. Okay, so we got the teat end dry. The critical part of the whole thing is just this end. Look at the junk I can get off. Oh, yeah. Get a nice okay. There. okay. And then notice the towel at the end of that, and quite frankly, this isn't too bad. Yeah. Um, and then we take our culture. First thing we do before we get our culture is we write the name down because after we get our culture, our hands are wet. Get, a, get the vial, put the number on. And I've learned if you have alcohol on your phone, don't touch your writing because it rubs yeah, right, right, off. right off. Yeah. Yeah. So then, um, you know, upside down, flip the top. I mean, I know you guys have done this, I don't know how many times, but it's just a review. If this were upside down, I tilt it this way to try and squirt in so I don't get debris that's falling off the other. Okay? And you don't need to have that thing clear full to the top. Nope. Just, you know, a third full is plenty. If you're doing an individual sample that you've CMT'd and you know which one is running the higher cell count, fine. If you're doing a composite sample, it's far near, near far. Also, you, some people do culture all four quarters yeah. in the same little Yeah, if you don't want to mess around with the CMT and you want to find out. See, we culture once once we see visible chunks, then we culture. Right. That's yeah. how we do okay. it. Okay. Some yeah. people do it differently. Okay. So if you're going to do a composite sample. So can you culture out, like, let's say you've got an individual bucket? Uh, no. If it's an individual cow, sure. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Or, like, fresh mm -hmm. testing and things like that. Okay. Oh, absolutely. So, I mean, if you've got, I'd say we're in a stanchion market. We're going to culture a cow. Same deal. You know, I mean, uh, the only difference is, is that we're going to get right next to the cow. Right before we do the attach, we're going to do our culture. I mean, it's, it's uh, there's a number of different variations. As long as we have it dipped, wiped, and clean, and then use alcohol swabs on the end of the teats, Prior to the time that we take the sample, mark the sample. Now, what do you do with the sample? Depends on where you're going to take it and what you want done. If you want a somatic cell count done on it, you're going to have to ship it to wherever it is on ice. If you want just a bacteriology on it, okay, then you can put it in the freezer. Depends on what you want. If you want fat, protein, other tests done, the only one you can freeze is it if you just want to run a culture. Okay. See what type of bacteria is If you want. If you're not going to get it cultured, with, you put it in the fridge for about maybe one day max and then culture it, but if it's going to be longer than that before it gets cultured, you definitely want to freeze it. Yep. 
So in many, of, many of your protocols, when you come in, you get a hard quarter, you take a culture immediately, you put it in the freezer, and then you treat her with spectrum acid or something like this. If she's running a fever or got abnormal milk, or depending on what your veterinary protocol is. So I have a question. We, um, we take a, if, if we see chunks of mastitis, we take a culture, we culture it on the farm with quad plate, okay. and then we put the rest of her sample in the fridge, and he says it's just in case we need yep. like, But yep. is it in the fridge, is it going to still be viable in a week or something? Not in a week, no. No, no, no. Just a day. No, you're going to have results. If you get abnormal results out of that culture, okay, I would recommend putting it back in the freezer until you're satisfied with the results of the culture. Yeah, Most, if you've done it for a while, it's kind of fruitless to put it back in the fridge because you know it's going to come out. But just in case, you know, you can throw it back in the freezer. Yeah, definitely freezer. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, you're going to get a lot of overgrowth occurring in that fridge in a few days. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because you know, even though it's cool, it, it can still wrap up. Bugs that aren't causing mastitis are going to grow in the fridge, but they won't grow too much in the fridge. And it won't kill your bugs you want to culture. Okay. So if you're in a stanchion, that, that's actually the best way to you know, prep them. Now there is some debate whether should we take the culture before we milk them or after we milk them. Really don't care. Either way, whatever way it works better with you. I have some veterinarians that say, well, they're a lot cleaner at the end of milking. Okay. That's how you feel. But, it's fine. You know. but even if you take it after she melts, still scrub with alcohol. Oh even yeah. After she melts, you will still get dirt off the. Yep. Yep. You wouldn't think so, but you will. Yep.